Hey everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site, your destination for learning classic rock and pop songs on the mandolin. My name is Mike DeJong, and once again we are taking a look at a holiday classic, the final holiday classic for this year of 2020 that I'm going to show you. And of course, it's Auld Lang Syne, the famous uh, New Year's uh, carol or hymn that we love to hear, that Scottish classic uh, that many of us love to hear at the turn of a new year. Well, I'm going to show you a little bit of a different version here. I know there are some other versions of it out there on YouTube, but I'm going to show you how to do it with, well, a combination of picking with your fingers and picking with the pick. It's called hybrid picking. So I'll show you the hybrid picking version of All Lang Syne and see if you can get it and have fun with that. But first, before we get into the lesson, uh, if you are new here, thank you very much for checking out RPM. But don't forget, please hit that little red subscriber button before you check out. It really helps us to continue to grow this channel. And growing we have been doing over the last 10 months since we started this in February of 2020. We're now up over 3,100 subscribers and about 20,000 views per month. That is all thanks to you guys out there. So thank you very much. And if you are a returning subscriber, of course, we thank you as well for your ongoing support. You guys have been terrific. Gotten a lot of nice suggestions for songs that I will uh, try to get to in the new year as well. Rock and pop classics that we can do on the mandolin. So thanks again for all of your support. And if you can support us just a little bit more, maybe financially, kicking in a couple of bucks, please check out our Patreon links and our Amazon product links down below. Thank you very much once again for all of your support in 2020. Now let's take a look at this holiday classic, this New Year's favorite called All Lang Syne, hybrid picking version here on RPM. Okay, so if we're doing the hybrid picking version of this song on the mandolin, what does that mean? Well, hybrid picking is not something that you see very often on the mando. In fact, I don't think I've seen anybody else do hybrid picking. What is hybrid picking? Well, hybrid picking, I guess, is a variation of Travis picking on the guitar. Travis picking on the guitar is where you use just your fingers and you have a bass note played with your thumb and then you use your other fingers to kind of arpeggiate chords. Well, hybrid picking doesn't use your thumb necessarily. It uses a combination of your thumb and a pick. All right, and then your other fingers to arpeggiate chords. So like this, I'll show you, here's a G chord, right? All right, can you see I'm hitting that first note there with the pick, but then I'm using my other fingers here to arpeggiate the chord. So that's what we're going to do in All Lang Syne. Okay, so let's look at the hybrid picking version of this song, All Lang Syne. What do I do? Well, I start like this. All right, so what am I doing there? Well, first off, I'm playing this song, this version in the key of G. And I'm starting off with a G chord voicing that's a little bit different than the normal G, like that. I'm starting off here, okay? So that's sort of your, your jumping off point for this hybrid picking version of All Lang Syne. You want to hit the G chord here with the, uh, the fourth fret of the G string and the fifth fret of the D, okay? So that's the chord we're aiming for here. And the beautiful thing about hybrid picking is you can also get a lot of double stops into play when you do it, all right? So I'm starting off like this. So I'm sort of walking up to that G chord I just showed you. Start off with these two notes open, G and D, and pick them together. Use your, uh, well, use this finger to sort of grab one note and press down with your pick like this. Can you see that? I'm kind of hitting, I'm gonna go closer to the camera here. You're kind of catching both strings together like that. It's like a little paw that a crab would have. You're grabbing both together like that. So you're going, right? All right, so I'm starting off with those two open strings. Then I'm putting my first finger here, but still hitting that G string, right? Oh, G string open. So second fret of the D, so like that. Again, still grabbing both notes. And then I go up to that G chord I showed you here, 4th fret and 5th fret. So, 
right? All the while hitting both of those strings together. Right, and then I just do a, a little one, one fret down from the G to the fourth fret there, right? So, right, so that's the beginning part of this song. And you can also, while you're doing it, while you're doing that uh, sort of uh, hybrid picking, you want to keep them sort of moving in like that, right? So you want to go, so I'm kind of going, ding, ding, ding. I'm going fifth, fourth, fifth on that chord. You see that? Again, again. Right, so one, two, one, two. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to a D chord. All right, so I go up to that note there, which is the second fret of the A, so from here. And I'm hitting also that open G again. Right, I'm hitting the open G here, first, you know, lowest string on the mando, and that B note up there, second fret of the A string. Then I switch to a D chord quickly. And again, I'm hitting the same strings this time, the G and the A string, second fret, but then I'm pulling that off and I'm putting this finger down here to form the D chord, right? Second fret of the G string. And now playing this A string open, like that. So, you see that? So, one more time from the beginning. You see that? Again, I'm finger picking all of those notes right there in the chord. Two strings open and this one here at the second fret. One more time from the beginning. Now, then you come down and catch that note again, the G note, just on its own. So, well, actually, you could probably hit the G, the two G strings here, actually. That's what I did. So, right? So, so like this. Right? So, and then back up to that A again. So, right? The melody notes you want to get. Those are the melody notes you want to hit, but just playing that melody seems a little bit empty to me. So that's why I like to do this hybrid picking to give you some double stops on almost every note that you play here. So one more time. Okay, so we're there. And then again, so again, second fret here on the A, open A, and that G chord again, all the while catching the low G string, hybrid picking, so. Right, so, so again, like this. You see? You hit those two notes together and then separately. So it's one, like that. So like this, one more time. And then back to there. Okay, so what's that? Well, that's really cool. That's going all the way up to a C chord, but using this nice little B minor is sort of a passing chord here. So you're going like that. So one more time. So once you get to there, you go. So, so again, open G and open A to the B note here, which is the second fret of the A string. And then a, a quick B minor chord, right? But I, again, I'm just hitting these two notes, the top note there, the highest note, I guess, in this chord, which would be the fifth fret of your A string, and then the fourth fret of your G string down here. So, and up to a C chord, right? The C chord there is fifth fret here on the G, fifth fret of the D, seventh fret of the A. So one more time from the beginning. You see that it goes, and then I'm still arpeggiating that C chord, 
Then this is a little tricky. You're coming down now, but you don't hit the B minor. You hit a G instead. So coming down, you don't, you don't hit that chord. You hit something very close to that, okay? You go. Okay, so you're going from that C chord again. And a quick one, one, two, like that. This time you're hitting the full G chord here. All right, so fourth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret. All right, it's almost like that B minor, except this note is covered now rather than this note here. That's the B minor chord. That's a G chord, okay? So fourth, fifth, fifth. So you go, right? And then back to, the, to that second fret there. So So from here it's, so once again, so the C chord to the G chord and then back to, back to that second fret and then fifth fret and then the A again, so. Back to a D chord and then you come down, so second open G chord and then finally this chord here, which is again the open G and second fret of the D, so. And then end on that G chord, or you can even end on this G chord. So one more time, the whole first bit of the song here. Okay, so the second part of the song is pretty cool. I guess you could call it the chorus part. It goes. So it's basically the same chords as I've shown you, just in a different order. So it starts off with that C chord to the G, right? Again, so C, five, five, seven, to the G, four, five, five. So, but just a very quick one, two goes and then down to that second fret open again and the again your, your low G so your hybrid picking there so so you're going here and then back to this note again and I'm even hitting a double stop there with that G chord to the D chord so C G G, D. Don't forget that. So your key melody notes there are. All right, all on the A string. Those are your key melody notes. So let's do this. Then repeat it to there, but then you go and you bring in that B minor chord again, okay? So from here, Repeat, but then you go. So you're going open, second, B minor again. Remember that B minor voicing and to the C again. One more time, the second part. And I'm, I'm always hitting that G string here with my pick, all right? You see, like that. So you're getting two notes there. You're getting that note here, and you're getting the high note on the A string both times. So, okay, and then you come down. Which is the same pattern as before, okay? So it's C, G, and then this chord here right, to a D. I'm not really sure what chord that is, but that's a B note there with a G. So I guess that would be a variation of your G chord. So here, to a C to G, and then a low G, and then this, you know, that pickup note there to the D chord. And you can also do that pickup note with a G, with this G voicing double stop if you want, fourth and fifth, so.
then again this part right so but I'm still hitting that low G note so right so second fret of the A open A G chord so again that's fourth and fifth here second and open and then two open right open open to that final G okay so let's do this whole second part one more time like that okay we're looking at the chords of the song they're all in the key of G and they are pretty simple it just goes G to D Okay, so that's the verse part of the song. It's just G, and your strumming is just up and down. All right, so what are those chords again? Well, G to D, G to C. Now, you could do that little B minor jump up to the C chord if you want. And that goes like this, it goes G. If you want, right? And what are those chords there? Well, that's an A minor. And I'm doing it at the fifth fret here of the G and the second fret there. And these two strings open. So, and then to a B7 chord quickly. So very quick like that, A minor to B7. B7 is second fret here, first fret, second, and second, okay? And then from the A minor to B7, you go E minor, D, G. Okay, I'm playing the E minor there, second fret and second fret of the middle strings. One more time, the verse part should all the seven E minor D G okay and the next part of the song the choruses chords are very similar but you start off with a little staccato jump you go ending with those same chords the A minor to B7 E minor D D G. So what's that little staccato jump? Well, it's from the C chord, right? C chord there, second fret, third fret to the G, right? And then back to the C chord again. Again, you could you could do that. Again, that B minor jump to the C if you like. And A minor, B7, and E minor, D, G. So one more time, the chorus part for So I did the little jump there. A minor, B7, E minor, D, G. Okay, so it's up to you if you want to do that little B minor to C jump, or you can just play it straight like this. it for all lang syne on the mandolin hybrid pick version i hope you guys really enjoyed that and we'll have fun playing that song it's just a wonderful memorable melody isn't it that everybody loves around the new year's time and of course you could just play those simple chords too if you just wanted to accompany somebody those are also wonderful on the mandolin. Thanks very much for tuning into this video and all of our videos this year we really appreciate all of your support if you are new here, once again, please hit that little red subscriber button on the way out. You guys have pushed us past 3,100 subscribers in our first 10 months. We really appreciate all of your support. 
Also, please check out our Patreon and Amazon links down below. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this video, and I wish all of you guys a very happy and safe new year. Let's hope 2021 is a lot better than 2020 was for most of us. But thank you once again for your support and for watching this video here on RPN.